First off, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to those elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A lot of respect to you brothers out there on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. It's how you taste to the whole four like that you guys may be sealed soon. And with that, this is your brother Dewaba from the branch of GMS here in Chicago. Coming right back at you with a little lesson in um you know, I just been actually uh I've been meditating on this uh chapter for a while now. I mean, this Romans chapter eight, man, is uh really a beautiful chapter. I love it. Especially when you get toward the end of it. Um, you know, and I've really been meditating on it on it hard. So, you know, I just want to just read it, man, just to get a you know, just to get some comfort, man. I mean, it, it, it really, man, because the time we coming in, hey, a lot of people are going to be out there with their heads cut off, man. Wanting to know what's going to happen. Wanting to know what's going on. You know, scared. But the men of the Lord, man, we're going to be okay. Because we understand that, hey, this, this, this truth is going to be our stability in that time. And a lot of other people ain't going to have that stability. You know? And not only that, man, we got the comfort of the scriptures. You know, we got... Yeah, how by Shimmy how shy, and that's just it, point blank, period. You know, but I've been really love reading this. Uh, I've been really love. I, I've been meditating on Romans chapter eight quite often lately. So, you know, I just want to sit up here, you know, and just share. I'm gonna start at uh 28, you know, read on down to uh 39. But you know, and 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 it's pretty straightforward, and a lot of things to say. You know, I might say a few things on a few of the uh, scriptures, but it's just a, a just a real big comfort to me when I read this uh, chapter. And then, like I said, especially when you get further down in the chapter. So with that, uh, let me go ahead and start. Um, this is Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And we know all things. And we know that all things work together for good, for the good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. And we understand, hey, look, hey, all things work out. Hey, the, the elect out here trying to do the, you know, sitting up here. Trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, having faith, you know, calling on his name, you know, sitting up here, uh, uh, praying all the time, you know. We had that faith, and we understand that this truth, hey, work it to our, uh, work it good for us, man. You know, it gives us hope, it guides us in our life, in everything. And then. It says, uh, to them who are called according to his purpose. The prophets, man. Pushing this truth out here to our people. Trying to gather the elect. That's our purpose. To sit up here and gather the elect. Push this truth out here. Let the other nations know that they're going down and to gather the elect. But this is Romans 8 and 29. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn among Many brethren. And who's that son? Yahweh Shai. He's the first spirit that the Heavenly Father Yahweh created. You know? And through his blueprint, Yahweh Shai created everything else. This is Romans 8 and 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called. And whom he called them, he also justified. And whom he justified them, he also glory. And that's that's the elect, beginning with the 144. The prophets. You know? Hey, before this, <clears throat> before the earth was even made, before it was even formed, the Heavenly Father already had the blue, already had everything that was going to happen, period. You know, the elect was already sealed, everything, everything, everything was already, already mapped out, you know, for a lack of better words. You know, and what did he say? He, he already had us called, the men that he already had, uh, the prophets. He already justified us. He already going to have us glorified, you know, and I'm praying I'm one of those men, you know. So this is uh, Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? Point blank period. You know, who could be against us? Who, who could be against us? If the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai got our back, who can do anything to us? That's pretty much point blank period. Uh, 30, this is Romans 8 and 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all, us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? That's the whole point, you know. Yahweh Shai has sit up here and buried the cross and suffered 
and, and died on the cross for us, you know, so we can get back in good, 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 good grace with Yahweh, point blank, period. And he want to give us the kingdom. This is uh, Romans 8 and 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of, 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 the, of, the, of Yahweh's elect? It is, it is Yahweh that justified. Who is he that con condemned? It is Yah Yahweh Shai that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also make it intercession for us. So, yes, here it is. Yahweh Shai died on that cross for us, man, for our sins. Not only for his sins that he did as Adam, not only for the sins he did as uh, uh, King Solomon, but for, you know, but for uh, the sins of Israel. Point blank, period. Yasharala, you know, to make intercession. He's the mediator between the, uh, 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 us and, and Yahweh. This is uh, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or, the, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. You know, and you think about the prophets that was killed back in the day for this truth, man. Nothing separated them, man. They died for this truth. In the same way now, you know. We, hey, we out, there, uh, out there on the highways and byways, man. You know, out there on the line for this truth, man. Not caring about any goddamn thing. Willing to give and risk everything, man, for this truth. You know. This is uh, Romans 8 and 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in his, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. And that's the whole point, man. Ain't nothing going to sit up, hey, man. None can separate you from the love of your how about Shimmy outside, man. And that's what you got to keep in your head, man, in the times to come, man. He got us. And that's all I've been sitting up here thinking about, man. Every time I read, you know, like I say, Romans 8, man, is giving me give me a lot of comfort just to look at. You know, there are many other there are a few other scriptures that I love to go to, but this is just one of them. Isaiah 33 and 6 is another one that comes to mind, too. You know, uh, you know, and uh and and, and, and I can't uh, um Salakia, because I'm, I'm, my mind is skipping uh, on uh, this one. It's uh, you know, Yahweh haven't given us the uh, the spirit of uh, the spirit of uh, hasn't given uh, us the uh, spirit of fear, but the but the um, I can't think of it right now, man. I'm blanking. Wow. But we haven't been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of uh, uh, the power of love. And I think you brothers know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just can't. I can't word it right at the moment. But um. You know, the times are, are here, man, and, and and I mean, as we see, they coming up fast, man, and hey, we got to be steadfast in this truth, steadfast in this word, man, you know, and have that faith, man, that, 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 yeah, how about Shimmy outside is going to guide us through all of this, you know, so, and with that, you know, hey, like I said before, it's just a little something that was on my spirit just to say, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to you, how about Shimmy Awashai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honest to those elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A lot of respect to you brothers out there on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. And salutations to the whole that that you guys may be sealed soon. And with that, I always say stay prayed up, brothers. Pray for each other because we're almost up out of here. So with that, I'd like to say Kwam Yasharala and Ababa Ball and Anya Habatam Akiyam. Shalom.